I don't really know how to express my gratitude for this and for everything. This episode of the Hollywood Reporter News is brought to you by American Airlines, Hollywood's favorite airline. It's Throwback Thursday, and we're looking back at one of the greatest and most glamorous Oscar moments of all time, Elizabeth Taylor unexpectedly winning Best Actress in 1961 for her performance as a Manhattan call girl in Butterfield 8. I guess all I can do is say thank you. Thank you with all my heart. Taylor's win came after just surviving a near-death tracheotomy during an episode of Pneumonia. It also marked Hollywood formally forgiving her and welcoming her back to the fold after her affair with co-star Eddie Fisher, who was married to Debbie Reynolds at the time. I'm sick of opening that door every other day and finding you boozed up, burned out, and ugly. Why do you come here like this? Where have I always come, Steve? In a guest column for The Hollywood Reporter, social critic and author Camille Paglia says Taylor's win is the Oscar moment that defines her lifetime. She revealed, In retrospect, I realize that Taylor's triumph was indeed a huge cultural watershed, a prefiguration of the coming sexual revolution. A photo of Taylor after her win graced the cover of Life magazine the following week. Paglia said of the picture, this bleak, brilliant photo marks the arrival of a new generation in Hollywood, hip, smart, and cynical. The mythic grandeur of old Hollywood and its pantheon of celestial stars is already gone. Pallia calls it the greatest post-Oscar win photo ever taken, followed by the photo of Faye Dunaway having breakfast at the Beverly Hills Hotel the morning after she won Best Actress for The Network in 1976. You can read Pallia's full column in this week's issue of The Hollywood Reporter and on THR.com. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News, and I'll leave you with this iconic comeback. I'm not like anyone, I'm me.